Another cold night, temperatures falling again below zero, and staying outdoors for even a short period of time can lead to cold related problems, including hypothermia. News 18's Amber Hardwick reports on how kids can be at risk and ways to keep them healthy during the cold snap. Arctic air over Indiana is causing temperatures to fall below zero with wind chills up to minus 20. Temperatures that chilly can lead to cold related illnesses like frostbite and hypothermia, especially for kids. Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health pediatrician Timothy Snyder says wearing layers is key to staying healthy. Lots of layers are important because the layers trap heat and uh, wool or thicker materials are sometimes better. Snyder says a large amount of heat from our bodies is released from our head and feet, making hats, socks, and scarves important to wear. Helps the, prevent the child from breathing in the cold air, which can irritate their lungs. At Grace Daycare in Lafayette, keeping kids warm during the cold is a priority. Director Ann Huff says the children are outside as little as possible and stay indoors when picked up at the end of the day. She says teachers also make sure all their kids are are bundled up before walking outside. So we make sure that we have everything that the parents brought for them and we also have an extra supply if for some reason somebody forgot mittens or gloves. Plus Huff says the daycare uses the cold weather as a teaching opportunity. She says they teach the kids about the different seasons, what to wear and in the past brought snow inside for the kids to play with while staying warm. We put it in our sensory tables for the children to explore. They built little snowmen. Snyder says if children are playing out in the cold, it's important for parents to keep an eye on them. He suggests checking on them frequently and having a change of clothes ready if they are wet. The kid wants to continue playing. They want to stay out there. Uh, they're more likely to ignore their symptoms. So we kind of have to be proactive and, and put some time limits and things like that on their outdoor activity. Snyder says symptoms of frostbite include a pale grayish appearance with blisters. Signs of hypothermia are a lower body temperature, skin turning pale and becoming lethargic. He says a child should seek medical attention if they're showing signs of these conditions. Amber